I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Hello, my name is Marvin Rodriguez. I'm a local graduate from Hayward High. I was born in Hayward in 1937. My mom and dad migrated from New York and they bought a home over here on in Hayward and Yolo Street, which is by the um, BART and on the other side by uh, Costco. Uh, during this time, I was fortunate to have some outstanding teachers in my school. Uh, I attended, of course, Hayward High in 1950 to 54. Uh, Hayward High was way ahead of its time. It had its own cannery, its own uh, culinary school, uh, individual classes in, in uh, wood shop, diesel, and because they were so far ahead, anybody who graduated from these schools, from the school, got a job immediately as a graduate from Hayward High. One of the highlights of my experience, of course, at Hayward were the downtown rallies during homecoming days. Uh, it would take place either during a football game or a basketball game, and uh, each class would have a, a, a theme, and we'd dress according to the colors of our class. Uh, it would take place downtown Hayward during the day, school day, and in the evening we'd go to the football team a football game. The football game would take place of course in the evening but all the winners of the individual classes if you won that event you'd get the 50 yard line and uh, fortunately because of our class we had a uh, great class we won it four times in a row from 50 to 54. Uh, students would dress in their particular colors. Uh, seniors would be gold, uh, sophomores would be red, uh, uh, juniors uh, would be uh, white and uh, freshmen would be blue. Uh, we, drove, we would go downtown through the Hayward Strip and the city would close down the streets for us and then we'd, we'd uh, parade back to the school and then continue on the uh, football field with our individual skits and uh, performances. Um, the counselors at Mount Eden, I mean, at, correction, at Hayward, were uh, outstanding because uh, they gave their lives, they gave their time, they gave their love to us, and uh, they taught us to be outstanding students and to be uh, loving and to care. Uh, many of the graduates of this class went into education, as, as myself, and also into medicine, into the fine arts. And because we were a close-knit uh, knit class, we were able to, of course, have uh, outstanding uh, reunions every five years. And by the way, we're going down to Palm Springs this uh, summer for our 55th class reunion. Uh, <clears throat> we were, uh, again, mentioning that uh, some of the outstanding teachers we had was uh, Mrs. Eleanor Sakharak and uh, Elizabeth Lee. There are counselors, and Mrs. Sakrak told me, uh, you know, you're kind of young to be going with this young lady. And I met my wife, of course, in high school in 1950 when she came from Michigan. And uh, But we were engaged early in life, but uh, it worked out pretty good. We're still married, been married for 51 years. And Mrs. Sakrak, being a counselor in, fa in family living, and Miss Lee, they'd tell us, be careful. And we were. Uh, Mrs. Longnecker was our Spanish teacher, outstanding woman. George Endelin was our uh, industrial arts teacher, and he gave us how to draw and what to do, and how to make furniture and things like that, which helped me in my life. Uh, also, we had Mr. Wilson and uh, Mrs. Barbara Henry, who was in the fine arts. All these teachers gave their lives and their love to us and helped us meet our endeavors in life. Uh, at that time, of course, Hayward High had a large student body, and uh, we had a, our class as a class of uh, 575 students, but
but the total student body at that time when I graduated was over uh, 4,000 students. Uh, even though we had a large class, we were real close. Uh, from here, when I graduated from here at High, I went to San Jose State, was able to achieve my credential in teaching and do my graduate work. And, uh, and thanks to my wife, who was very, very instrumental in getting me through school. As a teacher at Mount Eden, uh, many of the former high school teachers became my colleagues from here at High. Mr. Taioli, he was my vice principal, and uh, he was a great man. Being a local resident all my life, I was fortunate and honored to be a product of the Hayward High School Unified School District. Once again, I'd like to thank them for being there and influencing my life. Of course, Hayward High many, had many activities, uh, and we as students governed ourselves. We'd have, of course, judges voted by the student body. Of course, we had a student body president and so on, like most schools had, and a secretary and vice president, but uh, student control was one of our outstanding uh, events that we did and it was uh, uh, voted in by the student body and we'd elect judges and uh, any student, uh, the student control would police the hallways and if you were out of your class without a pass, they would write you a ticket. If you ran in the hallways, they'd write you a ticket. If you did something mischievous, they'd write you a ticket. Well, with these individual tickets that you would get because of some behavior that you did not, you weren't supposed to be doing, you'd have to go before the judge, and the judges would vote and tell you that you'd have to be a, you'd have to have a penalty, and the penalty would would ever be, uh, pick up papers, uh, be a chaperone at some of the events, or whatever took place in the school that they needed, and uh, that was run by the uh, student control. We also had a rally committee, and the rally committee would have rally committee hats, and uh, they would go around and pep up the school when it was a basketball game or football game, and we'd have a, uh, a rally take place on the football field during lunchtime. Uh, we also had, of course, a rifle team, and our rifle team would actually shoot live bullets, and we had some kids that would go all the way to the nationals and compete and do outstanding and win medals for the, uh, uh, the rifle team. We also had what we call King Hayseed Day, and that was by the, uh, and we would have all the uh, booze, people would be raising their, their sheep and their cows, they'd bring them to, to this uh, event, a fair, and uh, we'd have uh, chase the grease pig, and they'd have a big pig, they'd grease him, you'd try to catch him, uh, climb the grease pole, and uh, and then everybody had booths, different uh, activities. I belonged to the Key Club. We had a booth, and we'd sell cokes and soda, raise money for our events. And they're all you go inside the gym, and all the different kind of events that were there. You have all these different booths that pitched a dime, or like you would see at a uh, in a fair. And that was our what we call that uh, Hayseed Day. It was outstanding. Had a good time. And of course, there were other uh, events um, that took place that we had. That, and of course, our senior ball. And at that time, the junior class would put the dances on for the seniors. The seniors would put the the uh, junior prom on for the juniors, and they would finance it somehow and decorate the gym and the gym and so on and so forth. And and uh, our class. <laughs> We put on a senior uh, ball for this class of 53, and it cost us $7,000 <clears> because we got two bands. We had two bands with the uh, Glenn Miller Band and Tex Benneke Band, and uh, we had to pay them. And, it, and so everybody did not leave. Usually they would you know, go to the senior ball and go out to a, a restaurant, but no one left because we had both bands, and they danced and had a great time. So. Needless to say, we didn't have any money. We went bankrupt. So we put on what we call the senior extravaganza. And we had all these, we had some great talents. They played guitars and dance and tumbled and whatever. We had some great skits. And uh, we raised $10,000. We put it on for four days in a row. Thir Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It was such a big, big 
event, they kept telling me, put it on again, put it on again. And we raised 10000 paid our debt off, and donated 3000 to the school when we graduated. That was one of our highlights.